Hey, I'm Nils from Keep It Green, and if you want to know how to turn dirty water into clean water, then this video is for you. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own three-chamber biochar water filter from simple items. The chambers are filled with different materials, starting with a coarse, then a fine and an even finer layer on the bottom. Thereby we filter dirt, bacteria and chemicals out of the water, step by step. What's left is clear water ready to use. To put the whole thing together we need several things. Biochar, sand, gravel, a couple of containers, some mesh screens and some fleece. Why you need all those materials and how to use them I will explain to you in a second. The first bucket is filled with gravel. It helps to filter out coarse materials and suspended solids from the water. It is important that the gravel has a certain size, not too big and not too small. That's why we sieve it. If it's too big, the water runs through it too quickly and not much will be filtered out. If it's too small, the system may get clogged and no water will get through. Anything left on the sieve is too big for our filter. And we also filtered out some impurities. This gravel is too small, so we can't use it. Unfortunately, the gravel we used was very dirty, so we're gonna wash it before we put it in the bucket. But before we fill the bucket with gravel, we need to put some holes in the bottom of the bucket, so that the water can run out again. Once we've added the holes to the bucket, we have to prevent the gravel from falling through these holes. Therefore we put some fleece at the bottom. And to make sure that I don't hurt myself again, I will use the super safety scissors for children. It should be filled to about three quarters, and then we can turn into the next bucket. The second bucket is filled with sand, and sand has two benefits. On one hand, it filters out smaller particles than the gravel. On the other, after some time, a biofilm forms on the sand. In this biofilm, microorganisms help us to filter out bacteria or other microorganisms and break them down. For the sand filter to work properly, we do exactly the same steps that we did with the gravel. So we have to separate it from the big and to fine particles. This sand that we have here was already cleaned from dust, so we only need to sift for larger grains. Once we have sift the sand, we do exactly the same steps as with the gravel. Put holes in the bucket and add some fleece. I would recommend you to sift the sand when the sand is dry. We tried it with wet sand and it took very, very long because the sift was clogged all the time. The 
the most exciting card comes now, and that's biochar. Biochar acts nice. similar to activated carbon. It has only a somewhat smaller surface, and it is critical for our filter. The first bucket of our filter was there to filter out large particles. The second one with the sand was there to filter out finer particles and bacteria. And the last one with the biochar is there to filter out the very, very fine materials. Many water filters only filter out bacteria, but the biochar helps to filter out chemicals, pesticides and pharmaceutical residues. All those materials get stuck in the very fine micropores of the biochar. If you want to know more about biochar, check out the articles on our website or our podcast episodes about it. And if you want to know how you can make your own biochar, check out the video from Franz, he explained it in detail. But the biochar that we have here we cannot use in our filter directly, we have to crush it down first. And then we do exactly the same steps as with the buckets above. We sieve it for dust and big particles. The biochar should be the size of a grain of rice. This year is too small. It is very important that in comparison to the biochar that you add to your garden, this one should not be saturated with nutrients. It should arrive directly from the child. If you are unsure about it, you can also use activated carbon instead. So the next step is to put the buckets above each other in the right order. If the buckets have a lid, it helps to turn the lid around and let it work like a small funnel. Therefore we need to put some holes in the lid as well. And lastly, if water runs from one bucket to the next, it displaces air and the air has to go somewhere. Therefore we add some more holes just below the lid. So now that we have put up all the water filter chambers, we can just start to fill in water. It will take some minutes or even some hours for the water to go from chamber to chamber and then come out at the end cleared. But where would you use such a water filter? Feel free to leave a note in the comment section. If you want to go back and read about how exactly we build this water filter, feel free to check out our guide article in the section below. It is advisable that you flush the water filter a few times before you use it. Here you can see some residues of biochar dust that was still in the filter. But if we flush it a few times, the water should get clear soon. Keep all your game as and lost, as and lost. Now comes a very important point for the water filter the maintenance. Every few weeks we should wash the gravel from the first bucket and then we can reuse it. After some time you might want to replace the sand. But if the water filter gets clogged, it often happens in the sand filter when the biofilm becomes too tight. In this case just take a small stick and carefully stir the biofilm around so that the water can get through. But be careful because we want to have the biofilm exactly where it is. The biochar you can recycle, but that is a very complex and time consuming process, so I would rather use new biochar. And as long as the toxicity level of your used biochar is not too high, you can just add it to your compost and add it to your garden as a soil improver. If you want to know more about it, I will link you a video, a podcast episode and a guide article about something called Terra Preta in the video description.
This was our video about the three chamber water filter. If you like what you see, feel free to subscribe. If you want to know how you can build your own three chamber compost, just watch the video from France here below. Or check out our playlist about permaculture. Many thanks and see you next time.